Department of Agriculture, Forestry and Fisheries, General Becky Kele, and he kind of set the scene for us. We also spoke to a host, a host of people, uh, and also looking at career opportunities and, of course, the potential of this uh, sector. Now, the one thing we haven't talked about is the events. There are highlights throughout the month, and they've employed some brand ambassadors to kind of move that message forward. Some of the names joining me now is uh, Cindy Dlatu, who's an, uh, an actress, Manid Lamini, she's well known, also a sports presenter, and then he doesn't really need an introduction, does he? DJ Sabu. Some other names that are part of the uh, ambassadorship for this program is Rob Marawa, Lebo Mashile, uh, Zizo Beda, and Lud Love, just to name a few. But let's talk to uh, those in attendance here this morning. Uh, starting with you, Mini. What about this initiative, the launch of Food Security Month, was something that you just had to be part of? Oh, well, we were obviously all identified as being brand ambassadors. And one of the things about it is that, you know, we understood the necessity for providing food to the masses of South African people that aren't, that don't get it. And we really wanted to be a part of it and be a part of the educational process. I mean, kids listen to us. You know, we're very influential beings, um, I'd like to think. And, you know, it'd be, it's so great to be able to be a part of sending out the message, educating the youth and, and really making this a society sustainable industry not only for the community of South Africa but also to sustain hunger. DJ Zabu, I mean we're talking about numbers, 12 million people don't know where the next meal is coming from. We're talking over 40% of uh, people living in Gauteng that are really not food secure on any level. And then there's the other aspects of job creation, you're an entrepreneur as well. How important is it to make sure that we get the numbers through? We know it's operating by a low capacity at the moment, but how important is it to get the numbers through and say that, you know what, agriculture is sexy? Agriculture is sexy because people need to eat food every day. You know, other things are just uh, luxury. But um, to come back in, 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 into why you know some of us are, are involved ourselves with this program is because I'm passionate about people. You know, I work with communities a lot. I work with young people, and I promote entrepreneurship. And for me, I've seen a lot of young people get into entrepreneurship, and their businesses fail at a little bit later stage. But they're not exposed of opportunities that are in um, a, a sector like this one. For instance, this sector is white dominated. Thirty-five thousand um, families, which majority of them are white and Afrikaans, uh, basically own 72 percent of the land in South Africa things like that people don't know people don't understand how monopolized also the um, this industry is and there's a very very minimal number of black people that are participating in this space on an entrepreneurial level mm -hmm. the farm that we're on right now is owned by a female lady who is farming here every day she's got employees she's providing food to masses of people she's providing jobs and if more young people can start um, getting exposed to such an industry I think we'll see more and more uh, 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 of this sector uh, evolving over the next couple of years and that's the reason why we're in this space to give it exposure and just talk about that we're going to have a chat to that lady a little bit later we are on dreamland uh, piggery which is about 45 kilometers south of johannesburg so let me bring you into this conversation very very quickly because we're talking about opportunities creating entrepreneurship uh we're talking about exposing people but at the end of the day uh, are we creating enough platforms for dialogue uh i think that's exactly what our job is to create dialogue, to alert people to th that there is an industry out there. Agriculture is a huge industry, and I think a lot of us black people know about agriculture, but we have no interest whatsoever. So I think ours is just to alert people that there is such an industry, there are job opportunities, you know, like food science. There's, there's just a whole lot out there. Mm. We need to expose people to. Uh, Mini, you were talking a little bit earlier before we started this conversation that, you know, in actual fact, you've got a bit of green fingers. I do. I'm actually not so bad. I mean, if I <laughs> if I grow some beans and stuff, they, they actually grow. I like to grow like a few herbs and stuff because I really love to cook. So, I mean, this is right up my alley. I really love being in the outdoors. I really love seeing um, it's nature in its natural state, if you will. Um, and, and just to go on to what Cindy was talking about, one of the most amazing things about our platform is that we're actually going to be going out to the entire country and speaking to young people, educating them about agriculture, teaching them about the importance of, of agriculture in our country and how they can make it a successful business for themselves. So it's not just us getting there and taking photos and being like, hey, we love agriculture. We're actually going out and educating the youth all through the country. And that's one of the reasons why I highlighted it as well. You also have a personal relationship with farming. You own farms. Um, I've, got a, I've got a farm in the KZN and we also own a farm um, north of Moritela municipality. 
that is just around the Brett area. A very, very big farm. I hadn't started farming yet, but uh, this gives me an opportunity to learn about farming because this is a long-term relationship. A lot of the things that I'm currently learning right now about farming, about agriculture, about forestry, about fisheries is totally amazing. I think in 12 months' time from now, I'll be a totally different person. Who knows, I might just retire in farming, you know? <laughs> yeah. Well, we've run out of time, so we're going to get to you a little bit later. Uh, we might see a, a song from DJ Sabu on a farm. That could be interesting. Maybe you'll, <laughs> maybe you'll remix uh, Oh McDonald, you know him enough. <laughs> Look, we're going to take a nap.